When a tiger assassin bug and a silverback cross spider meet for dinner, only one will enjoy the victory feast. On any day in this Costa Rican jungle clearing, you'll find an unlikely hunter prowling the petals. With a cumbersome body and an alien head, the tiger assassin bug looks more like a clown than a killer. But there's nothing amusing about this predator. They'll eat pretty much anything that they can handle, any small arthropod. Bulbous compound eyes, attuned to color and movement, are constantly on the lookout for prey. When it strikes, thick front legs tipped with twin gripping claws pin the victim down. When an herbivorous katydid gets a tap on the shoulder, it doesn't even have time to leap clear. Ending its days impaled on one of the bug world's strangest and most effective weapons. Part dagger, part hypodermic needle. When the proboscis punctures flesh, the horror's only just beginning. Once it's in, it starts injecting this nasty, nasty, paralyzing fluid that immediately makes its prey go immobile. Then it starts pouring digestive juices into the prey. Having its main strike weapon attached to its face means the tiger assassin bug must always get dangerously close to its victim. But the silverback cross spider prefers to remain out of the firing line. She sits there facing downward with the pairs of legs arranged like a cross. Now this is partially behavioral camouflage, but it also allows her to monitor each quadrant of the web simultaneously. The silverback cross spider also lets her web take the hard work out of hunting. Thick silk patterns called stabilimentum reflect ultraviolet light. Insects that collect flower pollen are drawn to any ultraviolet light source. So by putting the stabilimenta in the web, the spider is being ingenious. Not only is it attracting the pollen gatherers, but it's also attracting their insect predators. Any flying, jumping insect is at risk. Within seconds, this katydid is trapped in a silken spin cycle. When she reaches the prey, she'll begin throwing silk around it as fast as she can, but using her long legs to keep it at a distance. Once it's safely hogtied, then she'll move in and deliver the venom. Her snack disposed of, the silverback cross spider settles back into her web. Her shape and sheen break up her silhouette, making her almost impossible for many animals to see. But if there's clear and present danger, she'll adopt a bizarre defensive strategy. The silverback will start bouncing the web back and forth, adding a little bit of energy every time until the entire thing becomes a blur. It makes it impossible for a predator to focus on the spider, let alone catch it. But the silverback isn't the only seasoned killer in this jungle clearing. Will its silky skills be enough to defeat a trained assassin? Spear versus silk in a fight to the death. Night in the leafy killing fields, a tiger assassin bug 
is poised to attack a silverback cross spider. But she's not intimidated. There will be war. The tiger assassin bug has a stabbing proboscis that injects toxic saliva. The silverback cross spider throws strong silk to immobilize its victim before finishing it off with venom. The assassin bug crash lands in the spider's lair. The owner rushes over. She hesitates, sensing danger. Then, in a blur of wrapping, she pulls out silk like bandages. The tiger is trapped. Or is she? The silverback tries to make sure. This spider species venom isn't particularly strong, but it's still adequate for the job. Now that she's delivered the first dose, she'll sit back, wait for it to take effect, and then move in for the kill and collect her bounty. Hoping her victim poses no further threat, the silverback cautiously returns. But the tiger has one final surprise. Its proboscis stabs through the silk, dripping with toxic saliva. The assassin bug would still love to get its proboscis and paralyze the spider that's attacking it. The tiger assassin bug tries to stab, but the silverback carefully keeps her foe at a safe distance until eventually the venom claims the feisty assassin's life. That battle may have been lost, but it made a valiant attempt to survive. The silverback cross spider will never know how close she came to sharing her victim's fate.